Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to talk about whether or not you should learn machine learning. So, let's get started. Alright, I've been getting questions about what exactly machine learning is and whether or not someone should major in that area. Now first off, machine learning isn't really a field of its own that you could get a degree in. You can't really get a bachelor's degree or a master's degree in machine learning. But what you can do is get a degree in let's say computer science with like an emphasis in machine learning or AI, something of the sort. If you're interested in machine learning, you'd probably want to major in computer science with an emphasis in that area. And when it comes to whether or not you should learn machine learning, even if you're an electrical engineer or a computer engineer, yes, I do think that you should learn this, especially if you're still an undergraduate student, because it's becoming more and more prevalent in the workplace across all engineers, as well as data science and data analytics. But there are other reasons why you should learn this. So with that, I'm going to get started. Machine learning is easy to understand, and I'm not talking about everyone, and it is very complicated. It's only easy to understand if you majored in STEM, if you majored in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, then that means you've taken all of those difficult courses, those complicated concepts and theorems and everything like that. So because you've already had that exposure to those different things and you learned all those other things, then understanding machine learning is pretty straightforward and it's very easy to do. Machine learning is a type of artificial intelligence that allows software applications to become more accurate at predicting outcomes without being explicitly programmed to do so. And machine learning algorithms use historical data as input to predict new output values. It does sound very complicated, but what it's basically saying is when you have a set of data, raw set of data, also known as ground truth, you feed that into a machine or into some sort of algorithm that takes the data you're giving it and learns from it. For example, if you are giving it images of like a classroom and you want it to detect where the papers are at in that classroom, well, you're going to give it some specifications like the color of the paper that it's supposed to look for, the size of it in each image, and also where the paper is usually sitting like on a desk instead of the floor. When you feed it that kind of data and you specify where the paper is at in each of those images, for example, then it will take that information and learn from it. So the more data you have, the better it will be at predicting where the paper is at in future videos or in future images. So that's the basic concept of machine learning. That's the gist of it. If you are an engineer or you're learning engineering, this concept should be fairly straightforward and you should be able to understand what it's about and how to implement it. But that's one of the reasons why you should learn machine learning is because it's not too complicated to learn to begin with. Now, when it comes to actually implementing it, it could be difficult because it depends on like the algorithms and the data you're giving it and what you want their output to produce. And that's where it can be very, very complicated. The next reason why you should learn ML is because as I had mentioned earlier, it's easy to understand, but it's very difficult to implement more complex algorithms and getting the correct result that you want from the actual machine. The engineers who do this, who develop the algorithms or um, figure out what kind of data needs to be inputted into the machine, they are getting paid quite a bit because it's very difficult to do. And there's not a lot of engineers who do it yet because it's still pretty new. It's something that's in fast development and those people who understand it and are able to implement it and use it are getting paid quite a bit because there's not very many engineers who actually uh, learn that or know that just yet. Now this might change in the next you know, 10, 15 years, but as of right now, not a lot of engineers actually understand how to use machine learning. They understand it, but it's just hard to actually implement it into their own work. And most of the time, it's just easier for the engineer to process their own data and analyze it that way instead of having a machine do it for them. So that's why right now, I think it's a good idea to learn machine learning because not very many people know it or know how to implement it into their own work. The next reason why you should learn ML is because there are many ML engineers that are getting paid quite a bit. There was also a research done that shows that the cost of a top world-class machine learning expert can be related to that of a top NFL quarterback prospect. 
And so according to the simplyhire.com website, the average machine learning engineer salary is $142,000. And an experienced machine learning engineer can earn up to $195,000. So that's pretty significant. And it's much higher than if you were to just be a regular software hardware engineer. You'd have to be probably a senior hardware or software engineer to make a similar income like that. And so lastly, the reason why you should learn ML is because it is on the rise. I know I said there's not a lot of engineers who actually know how to use and implement ML, but that number will be changing fast because because more companies are going to want to use machine learning to their advantage, process their data, analyze their data, and without having to have someone do that or pay someone to do that. And so there's more likely going to be more and more ML positions out there, then you should definitely learn that topic because you'll have a higher chance of actually getting a career in that area and maybe even getting a higher salary. So yeah, that's the last reason is because um, machine learning, while it is fairly new, it will quickly become the number one thing that you should learn and know how to do as an engineer. I honestly think that there's going to be a time, probably in the next 10, 15 years, that it's going to be a requirement, a standard requirement for all engineers and eventually everyone would know how to implement it into their work. But again, this is just an assumption. I have no idea what's going on right now, if it will be of any importance later on. Maybe it won't be a standard practice across all engineers, but who knows, it might happen. So those are all the reasons why you should learn ML alongside the fact that it's becoming more and more prevalent in the engineering world. So if you guys found this helpful or useful in any way, and if you have any other video suggestions about machine learning or anything else, uh, please leave it in the comments. And yeah, if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I hope you guys like this video and thank you for watching.